From the 5th century for a thousand years, medieval York was England's second city. It was home to kings and archbishops and was a centre of craft and commerce, learning and art. York was the northern powerhouse of medieval royalty. It was the stronghold for the Anglian kings of Northumbria and capital of the Viking Danelaw. Following 1066, King William the Conqueror recognised the importance of York and imposed his rule upon it by building two castles. In the centuries that followed, successive kings of England used the city as their northern base and the city's fortunes rose and fell with its ties to the crown. It was often at the centre of warfare and rebellion and York's residents were no stranger to conflict and uncertainty. Power was balanced in York by the church. Religion was everywhere in the medieval world and it was part of the very fabric of the city. York was one of the first places in Britain to convert to Christianity in AD 627 and was home of the Archbishop, the second most important religious figure in the country. By the 15th century, York had 46 parish churches, eight monasteries, an awe-inspiring cathedral and a patron saint. Religious buildings dominated the city and the church regulated the rhythm of medieval life. The presence of king and archbishop helped to make York wealthy. So did its thriving port that connected it to the wider world, bringing in exotic products from huge distances and exporting local wool and grain. Business made many of the city's residents rich and they sought goods which matched and expressed their status. To cater for the demand, York's craftspeople made an array of high quality products. Their skills saw York's markets flooded with beautiful and practical goods and its streets lined with buildings that stood as testament to their creativity and engineering. Medieval York was a riot of colour and decoration. This world of colour can be difficult to imagine today since much of it has been lost or stripped away. Here at the Yorkshire Museum we recreate the splendour of medieval York. This exhibition features some of York's greatest surviving medieval treasures. Explore these now in the beautiful setting of St Mary's Abbey and find out for yourself what made medieval York the capital of the North.